Hi, I'm Fraser Douglas, the Avid Tent Camper. And in this video, I want to tell you a little bit about our trip to Moraine View State Recreation Area in Central Illinois. Moraine View State Recreation Area is located about 140 miles southwest of Chicago and about 25 miles east of Bloomington. Its name stems from the fact that it is located within the Bloomington Moraine. The Bloomington Moraine was created over 10,000 years ago when giant glaciers slowly pushed rock and earth down through the state of Illinois and then left this rock and earth in deposits when the glacier melted. The main campground in the recreation area is the Gander Bay uh, Campground, which is located on the shore of Lake Dawson. But in addition, it has several more day-use areas and smaller tent campgrounds located around the lake. The Gander Bay Campground has a total of 137 campsites. Those that are marked out by black are available only by reservation, while those that are not blacked out are available for walk-up campers. When you first enter the campground, you must check in at the entrance control station that is manned by one or more campground managers. The manager will instruct you to go down to the C or D loops, pick out a campsite, set up, and then come back and complete your registration. We picked site D6 because it is directly across the road from the bathroom and because it held special memories for me. You see, 12 years ago, I camped in this same site with my friends Richard and Bonnie Webb who were accompanying me up to Wisconsin. Richard slept on his old army cot under the tarp. I will always be grateful to Richard and Bonnie for joining me on this trip and for being my friend through difficult times in life. Now let me address the security of this park. Although we never saw any park rangers, the security here is excellent. The park is managed by three couples that live in their travel trailers just across the road from the entrance station. These couples man the entrance station and routinely drive through the campground to make sure that everyone is behaving themselves. If a disturbance occurred, they could easily call law enforcement to come and handle the problem. Now let me summarize the campground amenities. First of all, you'll notice that the grounds are well maintained and that there are lots of shade trees. It has one large bathroom that was located directly across the road from our campsite. The bathrooms themselves are very clean with a very nice sink and counter area and very clean shower stalls. Next to the bathroom was a very nice playground area for children. A boat ramp and pier down near the E and F loops provides easy access to the lake. Individual campsites are also very nice. This is our site D6. It's fairly typical of other sites in the, in the campground. As you'll notice, there's no buffer vegetation or zone between the sides of campsites. But there is a little bit of vegetation buffer behind the campsite. The campsite has a gravel pad, but the rocks are fairly large and you'd have to do quite a bit of raking before you'd want to put your tent there. It's got a movable picnic table, which I think is good. It's got a fire ring with a cooking grate that is has adjustable height. And uh, our fire ring looks pretty nice. Some of the others I've noticed uh, aren't quite as nice as this one. And uh, uh, there's our neighbor up there and another neighbor up there. The playground and the bathroom. 
The camping fees in Illinois state parks are the lowest of any state I have ever visited. The camping fee is only $20. Furthermore, they do not charge park admission fees or non-resident fees. Senior citizens that are Illinois residents actually pay an even lower fee. Firewood and ice are available in the park, but you'll have to drive to Leroy, about seven miles away, to pick to get other supplies. But the park has a very nice snack bar that serves breakfast and lunch. The snack bar is managed by Enrique and Denise, and the food is fantastic. I got a ham quesadilla and it was wonderful. Now let me briefly describe some of the recreational activities in the park. A small marina is located just behind the restaurant, and it has pontoon boats and kayaks for rent. A nice swimming beach is located just a a short distance away from the campground, The park has a 10-mile hiking trail that completely circles the lake, plus four shorter trails. The Tanglewood Trail is a one-half-mile self-guided nature trail. Bloomington, located just 25 miles west of the park, offers a wide variety of shops, restaurants, festivals, and other fun recreational activities. In some, I first discovered Moraine View State Recreation Area because it was located along my travel route from Alabama to Wisconsin, but it would be a great place to spend a week vacation. It's 8.13, Sunday night. Ava and I have taken our showers brushed our teeth, and we are now in the tent, closed up, listening to the gentle rain fall on our tent. After the rain, we enjoyed listening to the owls hooting in the night. We heard great horned owls and barred owls hooting all night long. For more information about great tent camping destinations in the Lake Michigan states, please read my book, The Family Camping Guide to Wisconsin, Michigan, Illinois, and Indiana. Visit my website, www.basictentcamping.com, and visit my Facebook page, Modern Tent Camping. Remember, take more trips. Travel further, visit more attractions, and save money. Go tent camping.